Okay, so here's a preview of the adaptive content enhancer that I've been building for WordPress and how it manages custom field data. So we've got the plugin interface page here. We'll go to add new field. We'll go spot condition because this is a parkour website I'm building right now. And we'll go select. We'll add five options so we can go one through five. This bit needs a little bit of work, but you get the idea. One, two, three, four, five don't really need a description it's optional so we have spot condition now we can give it a tag um, so we'll give it a tag for spot and um, we'll save and I'll just show you how tags work real quick so they handle roles and permissions and you can set like a color just for sort of organizing them that all changes on the fly and then obviously you can you can sort by tags when there are multiple things and different things going into different tags um, we'll also create a text field. So we'll do text field one. You'll see here on the right, the ID is automatic and we'll just add field that now exists. So we'll go into posts. We're going to post for the Odeon, which is one of the spots we train at in Sheffield. And I want to rate this spot. So we'll go spot condition. Uh, it's pretty good. We'll give it a four. And I want um, some custom meta. So we'll choose that text field. And there we go. Add content here. I don't want any content yet. Let's just leave it as the placeholder. And we'll go to here and we'll add description. And I'll save this. And we'll refresh this. And now it says description. So we've just updated the placeholder of what is a default WordPress block that has, or paragraph block that has block bindings. So yeah. We've created custom data, we've bound it to a block there, and it's that simple. The option stuff also has the option to just show as text in editor, uh, at which point you can sort of edit from the drop down here if you want, or you can just sort of hide the labels in editor if you wanted to put your own in within a pattern or something. And you can show as input on the front end and all that. Um, I'll just show you that real quick. So here's no input on the front end, just four and nothing here so let me add some text there so four and that text and if I set this as input on the front end then we get a drop down so you can see here this could be used to build forms and yeah pretty simple but like a lot of power to it in quite a short like amount of time there so um, yeah, say we wanted to delete this stuff and just start over. We can bulk actions, select like whatever tags, select those custom fields and delete selected. And yep, there we go. All gone back to the start. Super fresh, super clean. And um, this thing as well, this page also adheres to these. So say, say we change to blue and we refresh the icons and all the fields and stuff use that sort of color format so yeah there you go enjoy